Okay, we are back, and it's freaking dark around me right now, which makes the look game look quite bright. But I guess that won't matter. Oh, tinderbox! Hi there. So we wanted to go this way because there was screaming. And that's how horror games work. Go to the place where you hear screaming. What do we have here? That is archives. Another archives. Hmm. That is a tinderbox. Nice. So we head for the archives. Oh boy, oh boy. Why am I so nervous? <coughs> In the end, I shouldn't even get scared, but I still do. Oh, I don't like that. But for some reason, I'm still excited to play this at some point. Okay. Roaches. Nothing, nothing. More nothing. Note. 16th of May, 1839. The unflinching African sun has continued to plague our expedition, making it impossible to dig until dusk. How Professor Herbert managed to find the location in these vast plains of nothingness remains a mystery to me. When I asked him about the tomb again, he told me about the legend of Tin Hanan, the mother of us all. An interesting story in its own right, but I can't help feeling there's more. Later that evening, we uncovered a passage beneath the dunes leading to a sand-covered stone structure. The professor was confident it was the tomb we sought, and ordered the others to clear the way late into the dark, cold night. Tomorrow, I shall lead the men into the ancient structure, hoping to reach the burial chamber. No matter what the professor is keeping from me, the dig should yield something interesting to take back to London and the British Museum. Interesting story. Hmm. Oops. Figure. No, no. Damn it. Uh. Wait, I got this. I got this. There we go. It seems so dark now. God damn it. Why is the. I just realized. Why is the door not in there? Oh god, this is so dark. Close that door, please. Ah. Uh, there is nothing, nothing, nothing. A tinder box. Oh, he already starts to freak out. Another note. Wilhelm's contract. I hereby offer my full attention and services to Alexander, Baron of Brandenburg. This contract will reign for a total of three years when my freedom shall return to me. In addition, Alexander, Baron of Brandenburg, is to recommend my services at the Prussian Royal Court and within the sanctum of the Order of the Black Eagle. <gasps> May no man break this seal. Wilhelm, House of Garage. Wah! Screen effects, man. Hmm. Oh, I don't like this. Why is it so dark? What was that? 
What was that? What was that? Why can't I remember what it is? That slightly freaks me out. Oh, this game is more intense than I thought. Tinderbox. Nothingness. Books. 17th of May, 1839. My hands tremble as I write. I feel a need to document my tribulation, for I fear that my memory will fail me if I linger. Today, I took some men and ventured into the dark, ancient passage we uncovered. Our torches burned faintly in the murky air as we slowly made our way underground. The men were superstitious and fearful. They argued loudly, and I felt their strange language getting to me. I mustered my strength and yelled at them to continue down the slopes and broken steps. The crudely carved passage confused me. It looked much older than the 4th century structure we had expected. The twisting path emerged into a great antechamber. The walls were lined with statues unlike any I'd ever seen. Despite their unearthly quality, I felt a strange familiarity toward them, which haunts me still. At the far end of the chamber, a great slab of stone sealed off whatever lay ahead. I gave the order to raise it, and as I pushed through the narrow space, the heavy stone suddenly dropped, sealing me inside. I was trapped. Okay. That's a second of three. So... What? Wait, how much oil do I... I'm a little paranoid about my oil. Oh, so fucking dark. Whoa, what? Freaking book. Who's playing the piano? Oil and tinder box. Like, honestly, who's playing that? Another tinder box? I guess that's all here? Yep, seems like it. Oh, I'm freaking out. I'm freaking out. The music came from here. Piano. Whoa, whoa. What? 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 I'm scared. I'm actually scared. Having seen this all some time doesn't stop me from being scared at, for some reason. <gasps> oh, I'm shivering all over. What is that? Just... Just what is that? Just what is that? Piano. Again. Okay. Okay, okay. That was just a landslide, just a landslide. Nothing to freak out about. Oh my days. What's wrong with me? I might rather stop playing in the total darkness. Last nut. No. Um. Um. No, 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 what the hell? 17th of May, 1839. 
After pounding the unforgiving stone wall for what seemed like an eternity, I realized it was hopeless. I was trapped. I fell to the ground, gasping for air, trying to focus. That's when I saw a faint blue shimmer. My weakened body was heavy to carry, but I managed to push myself toward the enchanting light. It was waiting for me. Enclosed in dark nothingness, I felt myself drawn to the mystic light. I reached out, closing it in my hands. The faint glow escaped my fingers and began to spark brightly and spirit me away, unlocking alien memories of spiraling towers, endless deserts, and impossible geometry. The next thing I can remember is the grating sound of stone being lifted. The voices of the Arabs pulling me to safety and grasped Firmly in my hands was the broken pieces of a most peculiar relic. All right, Van. What is this? Uh, can't really read that. Hmm. Is there anything else here? No. Oh well. Kingdom of Prussia. Yep. I remember that I actually had that at some point in history lessons. Um, I never liked history lessons though. Just not my topic. Ugh, that those are large spider webs. Tinder box. Uh and a chest. That's good, that's good, that's good. That's good. Why is that playing again? I opened that. I opened that before. You saw it. Okay, I'm extra actually really shivering now. <laughs> oh god, that wa that was so subtle and yet disturbing. Look at Much of the castle is old and hasn't been tempted to for centuries. When the shadow arrives, it won't take long until things start falling apart. We're just buying time anyway. Let's do what we can. There isn't much to be done about the wars. We should reinforce weak structures. The ground will tremble, and there's a risk everything will cave in on us, especially downstairs. Here, here, and there. Let's get the servants working on it. Uh, okay. Okay, okay. Uh, freaking. Freaking. Piano. Oh, uh, so much about not breakable by hand. Could you stop that light? You have to be swift when you activate the first one. You hear that? If it stops, you'll have to start over. Isn't all this a bit excessive? You can never be too careful, then. What? I heard some weird breathing. <coughs> eh. Good. Look. Okay, music. Uh, local folklore. Altstadt and Brandenburg Castle, 1801. Another region rich with lore is Altstadt. Um, deep within the East Prussian woods. For centuries, there have been stories surrounding the hamlet and its neighbor, Castle Brandenburg. 
The quiet forest clad mountains dressed with scattered lakes is a picture cue. Pi picturesque, sorry. Is as picturesque as can be. Elbe, the area is haunted by the dark. Ask any local and you will hear proof of the widespread superstition. All travelers should indulge themselves in such conversations, since it will certainly serve as exciting entertainment. All of them have their own twists and on the tales, but there are some mo motifs. I don't know what that means. <laughs> that keep reappearing. The Gatherers. This story reaches all the way back to the time of the Thirty Years' War. It is said that soldiers who abandoned their duty got lost in the cold dark woods and were forever damned to roam the grounds. Their bodies wrought by their tainted souls have left them disfigured and empty of essence. Many have cited them over the years and described them as horrid revenants. They move silently through the woods, shying away from any beholder. They are called gatherers as they seem to follow some ambition to steal living creatures. It is their prey which can be heard struggling inside damp burlap sacks, dragged behind them, which, reve which reveal their presence. What dark shame do they follow? A visit undone. Heinrich Cornelius Agrippa, the well-known erudite, I think, visited Altstadt at the start of the 16th century. He resi resided in the local inn for for a fortnight as he lo looked for remnants of kingdoms past. Jeez, this is quite hard to read, actually. During his stay, his stay, all the prominent members of society paid notice and he is mentioned in many records of the time. One day he went to investigate a burrow in the northwestern glades only to never be seen again. Heinrich is known to have passed away in Grunable some ten years later. He dismissed the notion of ever visiting Altstadt which makes you wonder what really happened. Who was this mysterious man who visited the sleepy hamlet in the woods, and what happened to him? The Immortal Baron. The Brennan of Baron... The, <laughs> the Brennan... Oh my days! The Baron of Brennenburg, what a tongue twister, lives a reclusive life with his family at the castle nearby Altstadt, and like most those of noble birth, Rumors are inherited alongside with the title. Researching the history reveals little before the castle was consumed by fire in the late 16th century. It was rebuilt by Alexander, a nobleman from the Rhinelands, claiming the role as protector of the Prussian state. Alexander helped the region to flourish and remained popular throughout his presumed lifetime. The family has always been secretive when it comes to lineage and heritage. Therefore, the birth and death of Alexander and his offspring has never been fully recorded. This has fed the idea that the Baron is in fact the one and the same who came from the West over 300 years ago, lived through the time of occupation and joined the coveted order of the Black Eagle along with the great ladies of this country. That was quite a lot of text. Whew. Right. So there's supposed to be a mechanism around here. That is not it. Um. Well. Oh. Okay. Go, go, go. There's another one. And there's another one. Nice. Okay. Here we have a cupboard. That's really great. Another draw. Note. Ah, more reading. Okay. Regarding closing of the wine cellar, 
Wilhelm and his fools have endangered my research long enough with their ab absent-minded handling of the human vessels. The sheriff is keeping a watchful eye on the forest and is killing my trusty servants. It's just a matter of time until they follow the trail of to Brandenburg. I need to lock Wilhelm up and his men up to avoid further investigation from the public. The wine cellar will therefore be sealed off until the matter has been handled. Either the king's men leave or they will starve. Whatever comes first, they can rot for all I care. Maybe I will feed them some wine. It would, in a sense, solve both my problems. That sounds mean. Okay, so that is the key to the wine cell. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. What was that? What the fuck was that? That freaked me out. The door got smashed open. Okay, I'm scared. What, what, what? What? Oh my days. What happened here? Ah! Ah! Jeez. Okay, I'm leaving. Fuck this place. My heart is pounding. Oh, no noises, please. No noises. I'm just gonna leave. I'm just gonna leave. Oh. Uh, you can't imagine. My whole body is having goosebumps. My hands are shaking a little. This is horrible. Oh. And that is red stuff. And the <laughs> <sighs> ow! Ow, 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 ow. Head is pounding, hands are shaking. I told you! I told you! Okay, but I'm okay. I'm okay, I'm okay. Not in the head, but I'm okay. <laughs> oh gosh. Oh fucking gosh. I don't want to go on the shit, brother. <laughs> I'm gonna hug this rock now, and we go to the wine cellar next time. Oh, my lovely rock.